Yeah, so I want, um, if you will, participate with me in this. Um, I'd love you to close your eyes. And I want you to think about uh, the first thing that comes to mind. That God's saying he wants to talk to you. And what's it about? Is it um, a deep disappointment? Is it about waking you up and bringing you alive again? Are you sitting there realizing, like, ah, oh, there's more that I'm not leaning into? Is there pain God wants to talk to? I want you to ask God, what does he want to talk to you about this morning? And I'm going to be quiet for a moment while he brings that to mind. I want you to pause for a minute, and I want you to just ask God in your heart. Just kind of look at him. See if you can't um, imagine God's face right now. You can just ask him, Jesus, where are you right now? And imagine you're looking at Jesus. And as you look at him, just say, God, what do you want to say to me today? And over the rest of the morning, I'd like you to just keep listening for God's voice. You know, we talked about how he keeps coming back to stories and how he unpacks things for us. And one of the things that I have learned to do in the last year more than ever before is listen for the sound of God's voice. Um, And so I want to read to you some excerpts of God's voice Um, Over my last year of life, you're welcome to take what belongs to you and not what doesn't. Um, And then I want you to go practice this later today. Here's your assignment. Open up a journal, computer, whatever, and just write what the Lord has to say to you. Don't don't edit it. Just let those words flow. Um, But I wanted to read to you some of the texture of God's voice, and you, you receive what belongs to you. Listen, you cannot be shaken. You cannot be moved. You cannot be altered or thrown off your game or made hesitant or shrunk back. You need not fear anymore because my glory is all around you and I am your rock, your fortress, your shield, your inheritance, your portion. You have no good thing apart from me. Don't you worry, baby. I have seen every disappointment and all will work for your good every single one your heart is so precious to me i want your whole heart beating with the alive nature of heaven soft and healed and free and able to receive wounds because you know the healing is quick and sure i am coming for you i am working I am here. I want you to rest in this reality. It is the only true thing. Don't worry. Nothing you're afraid of has the power to cripple you. What if you could trust that it will all work out for your good and be better than you imagined? Listen to me, warrior daughter. You don't fight with your own strength. What is your strength? The joy of the Lord is your strength. My joy is complete in you and it is your strength. I am your refuge, the place that you run to. I am your hiding place, the secret garden where no one can find you, the place of beauty that remains calm despite a war raging all around you. You are learning that I am good. It has been a long battle to convince your heart of this. I know I 
have watched. But I promise you that I am good and I have been good all along and I am with you now steadying you in the deepest place. Do you see how we have learned to communicate? See how you have learned to trust my heart and my voice? See how I have come for you. It is with the same relentless pursuit that I am actively bringing about your future. You need not worry. I am there. I am good. I am for you you, I stand for you, and that is all you need to know.